So I think I'm really under, interested in understanding, you know, how the brain works, how information encoding is really kind of um, happening in, in animals and how they're making decisions. Um, one of the really important things right now is drug addiction because we're in the middle of um, an opioid epidemic. Um, this is really, you know, starting to affect the lives of everyone. You know, drug addiction's always been a major problem, but it's getting worse and worse. And so understanding the neural basis of, of how this is happening and what kinds of things we can target to improve treatment outcomes is, is really critical to um, both understanding basic biology, but also public health. Addiction has really been stigmatized by society. And so even though it's one of the biggest public health concerns, so addiction costs society over $700 billion per year. Um, it is one of the, the areas of research that is most difficult to obtain funding. And part of that is because there aren't a lot of private foundations that are, are really supporting this work, like there are for things like depression and anxiety. Um, and so I think that that kind of shows how important it is to kind of talk to people about what drug addiction is, who it's affecting, and why as a society we want to invest in this kind of work. They are doing fantastic work looking at animal models that can translate between preclinical work and human, uh, human research. And, and really it's one of the only places that has this kind of this infrastructure spanning from preclinical work all the way up to human um, biomedical research. And I talk to the people here all the time and they're actually some of my favorite people to actually communicate with about science. And I see them at meetings everywhere that I go. And actually, UK is one of the, the biggest kind of places in, in the country for this, these kinds of this drug addiction work. And, you know, one of the things that's kind of nice is that UK has a name for itself in sports, which kind of gives these researchers a platform to communicate with people they wouldn't be able to communicate with otherwise. And so it's such a powerful place to kind of interface the recognition of the university with researchers that are really making a difference in this community.